The following demonstrates how the sensor probe operates over time. There are two actions that occur in the initial stage of sensor operation. Upon engine startup, the sensor control unit waits for the dew point, exhaust temperature of 392 degrees Fahrenheit or 200 degrees Celsius, to be reached, allowing moisture on the sensor to evaporate. Next, the heater in the probe performs a regeneration of the sensor, essentially burning off any previously collected soot deposits. The sensor may reach temperatures of 1,472 degrees Fahrenheit or 800 degrees Celsius during this process. This process takes less than five minutes. Once the sensor regeneration is complete, a new measurement cycle begins. The voltage is sent back to the SCU, which monitors the signal over time until it meets a predetermined threshold. If a four-hour threshold is reached, another sensor regeneration occurs, and a new measurement cycle begins. If the engine is shut down before four hours of continuous running, the accumulated soot burns off at the start of the next cycle. The key element being monitored is the time over which the soot buildup occurs. If the buildup of particulates happens too rapidly, this indicates a problem with the system, leading to a diagnostic fault. Shown here is a listing of soot sensor related faults. Please take a moment to review the table. Most of the soot sensor codes are normal circuit troubleshooting codes. An important code that may require multiple steps is 520349-14 DPF filter efficiency too low. This code detects that the amount of soot that has developed on the ceramic sensor is too much for the designated amount of time. This indicates that the DPF may be damaged and not filtering the soot efficiently. Follow the detailed steps in the PSL troubleshooting to determine if the sensor or some other ATS component is the cause of the fault. All faults require a verification process to confirm that the condition has been fixed properly. In the case of many of the soot sensor related faults, the repairs must be verified by running the soot sensor service routine panel in Diagnostic Link 8. The soot sensor service routine appears for the first time in version Diagnostic Link 8.03. The basic purpose of the routine is to reach proper operating temperature and properly clean any soot deposited on the probe. The routine is run with the ignition on and the engine off. The panel verifies the engine is not running and signals the routine is ready to start. Clicking on the start button begins the routine and the routine begins immediately. Once the routine begins, the steps being performed can be followed in the panel's window. There is no user intervention required once the routine has begun. This test takes approximately four minutes to complete. As the test begins, several things happen very quickly, including a pretest, a mechanism for preventing an engine startup, and an initial sensor inspection. The sensor begins to heat up, the sensor state has changed to hot, and the actual temperature measured at the sensor probe can be viewed in the upper portion of the panel. The test continues to run through several stages until completion and is displayed in the panel window. The suit is removed by the high heat and a measurement process ensues. Test completes and soot sensor begins to cool. A warning about not starting the engine and sensor is displayed while waiting for the sensor to cool down. The engine is finally able to start if desired. The final test result is displayed.